What is up, everybody? This is Lyle, no hippie trucking and transportation. Have some heart, Chicago. We'll get into that in a second, but I am at a small nine spot quick trip in Denmark, Wisconsin. Uh, I 43 exit 171. You got this little quick trip here, and then you have another little place across the way, which I was considering going to, especially once I saw the parking situation here. You know, like it's a nine spotter angle back blindside parking, so uh, maybe not the best if you're worried about somebody hitting you, but uh. I'm loving these quick trips. Now this one isn't quite as nice as the previous two I stayed at, but definitely better than your Flying J loves, you know, all that. So, um, delivered a load down in Chicago yesterday. I was thinking it was going to be worse than it was. I didn't really look at the map. I thought I was going to be going down into the heart of Chicago, but, uh, you know, I was kind of down there off of Cicero Avenue, Midway Airport, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, it was a pretty stressful drive. I left, you know, I was about 63 miles out when I left yesterday. I left with four hours to spare. There was an accident on, uh, I think it was 94. Anyway, one of them highways in Chicago, they ended up shutting that entire highway down now what i did do was i sent a message to dispatch saying i'm 24 miles away with three hours to go, you know with three hours left you know i'll let you know if there's an issue because i don't want anybody to be thinking you know i didn't leave with enough time or anything like that ended up getting there with about an hour to spare so that was good uh kind of a weird situation the dock was like a big old open dock so it almost you know, reefer guys, you know, if you go to some of them wash bays, it kind of reminded you of that kind of a dock. But they knocked that bad boy out. I'm telling you, 37 pounds or 37,000 pounds probably in 25, 30 minutes. But, you know, what was stressful about the drive is when they shut the highway down. Once you're like in that Chicago area, there's a few other cities like Pittsburgh or, you know, uh, maybe even Cincinnati, but if you get off of like your normal route, you know, you start getting a little concerned, but I got there on time. And as far as having some heart Chicago, what I was delivering yesterday, now listen, one of my favorite places to get a lot of groceries, especially produce in Denver is, is they have a few of these little Hispanic markets great place to buy stuff but you see some random stuff in there goat heads and you know all kinds of stuff that you know i'm you know is a little bit abnormal to me but what i delivered yesterday to this place i don't know what you guys in chicago are eating Thirty-seven thousand pounds of pig hearts who's eating all that shit i just don't know so uh I mean, I could, if, if it was like 10,000 pounds or, you know, something like that, but 37,000 pounds of pig hearts, like I have never seen a recipe for pig hearts yet. And it was frozen. You know, I don't think it was going to no, you know, pet food or anything like that. But anyway, that's, that's that. Have a heart, Chicago. You got them all now. So, uh, You know, by the time I got unloaded, it was about right at about 4.15, so 16.15, military time, whatever. And uh, while I was getting unloaded, I sent a message to dispatch, and I was like, listen, if I don't have a pre-plan, by the time I leave here, I'm just headed out of the city, probably towards Manuka, uh, or at least that general area, not that I need to stop there. And he sent me a load before I left, so that was great. And it's a load picking up in Green Bay. So I'm about nine miles away from the, uh, so JBS. Now what I want to show you, okay. I don't pick up till zero four in the morning tomorrow unless the load is ready. And it's zero seven right now. So 
one thing you can do is call the shipper receiver, all that kind of stuff. Maybe get lucky. They tell you. But in your app, this is one thing I spoke about in the last video, and I just want to talk about it. So if you go to your app, you're going to see like this, right? If you scroll up, you're going to see view trip, trip documents in red right here. If you click on that, now I, I've already uploaded a wash receipt in here, but you're going to see whatever documents are in here, right? Now I've uploaded a, a wash receipt. That's the only thing in there. JBS is pretty good about once the trailer's loaded, you'll see a trailer control report in there saying this load, you know, whatever uh, is loaded on this trailer, blah, blah, blah. So I'll check this throughout the day. I mean, if I could pick it up and drive it out a little bit, I will. Or if I wake up in the middle of the night and the load's ready, I'll go pick it up. But that's a little tip to uh, inform you that your load is, is ready. So anyway, I'm picking up this load in green bay and it's going to mechanicsville virginia and then from virginia i need to get to the terminal told them the 13th i don't know how that's going to happen maybe the 14th to uh go to success lease and pay up that money and then uh get the new driver in the new truck with the new logo my current driver jan says why am i fucking with the with the uh branding you know i just thought it was time for a little bit of a change i'm not you know anyway i just changed it up a little bit so anyway that's that's that i get a good little grip here to relax and you know what I could have drove out here later on today. I just, I like relaxing. You know, I don't, I think I run pretty hard, okay? Uh, I run out my clocks. I get everywhere as early as possible, but I don't do that because, really, I just do that because I'm lazy. And the other day when I picked up my load at, you know, 0, 3, and it was going to be ready at, supposed to be ready at like 0, 8. I was tempted to wait till 08 to pick it up. And the only thing that kept going through my head was it's greater later. It's greater later. So it's going to be greater if I pick this load up, shut down early and get a chance to relax. And by the way, I am glad I got out of there early yesterday from that receiver. Cause I, I stopped last night at the quick trip. The world's largest quick trip is branded as in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Wish I could give you the, uh, exit on that but it's a very nice quick trip pretty big i got like one of the last two spots there and then my next if i if i wasn't able to find a spot there the next place would be down the road at a petro where it's paid parking but it's a nice petro i've never actually stayed there <clears throat> but i did stop there to get a 30 minute break one time so anyway that is about it um Yeah, if, I mean, if, it'd be great if, if the load is ready. If the load's ready tonight, well, I'm not sure. It depends on my hours. I'm going to be driving down through that Chicago area. So parking could get a little bit tight. If I could pick it up by... Actually, it wouldn't be tight because I'd have a full clock to run. Perfect would be if I could pick it up at like midnight. Maybe 10 tonight. But uh, that's enough rambling. Um, I feel like there's something else I was supposed to be talking about. Haven't had a chance to get to comments or anything. I do like to respond to all comments, so I'll uh, try to get to that while I'm doing some of this hardcore relaxing today. There has been a little bit I haven't noticed it till maybe a little bit within maybe the last five weeks or so, maybe four. Well, I guess it would have to be. Well, you know, I'm, I, I'm only talking about my trucks. Uh, some maybe not waiting as much as others, but 
maybe a little bit more time in between loads than there typically had been and maybe a little bit more deadhead this deadhead i'm doing is 200 miles so that's not that big but i'm i've seen some big deadheads i don't i know i did one that was almost 400 miles and then i think one of my drivers might have done one that was like in excess of that or around that i'm i don't remember which one but i am seeing a little bit of that uh so hopefully this staying out over the holiday well it's so i gotta do that anyway uh, but hopefully it doesn't come back to bite me i think one of the holidays i worked over on maybe three years ago i ended up not being able to get a load actually i got it but i had to get it a day later and then it caused a delay at the other end, so I couldn't get it scheduled right away, so I had to wait an additional day on that end. But there was no washouts available, and I delivered uh, I delivered some meat, and it was like the trailer was totally fucked up. And where I was picking up, well, no matter where you're picking up, you just can't have any blood and stuff like that but it wasn't a meat plant that had a washout or anything like that so i just had to say hey i can't get a washout so uh, they ended up pushing that to the next day and then ended up costing me more time on the back end so hopefully nothing like that happens this this holiday season but you never know and you never know if you're out here working and uh And by the way, as my man Terry Tim Travel says, sorry if I'm looking around. I didn't know, you know, somebody made a point of that the other day. I didn't know that I was going to have to speak to your emotions, you know, look into your soul. But, you know, there's a little bit of activity out here. I could close my curtains, but then it would be darker in here. I'm sorry. But hopefully that doesn't come to bite me in the ass where I'm working over the holiday and I deliver. The worst time to deliver would be like on the... 24th or something like that early on the 24th then you can't pick up the 24th 25th maybe the 26th that's the nightmare scenario that i'm hoping not to have but enough about that i do appreciate you guys stopping by no hippie trucking and transportation as always comment subscribe and i'm out